Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and it is day 11 of the junk, 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. This is a collaboration with several members from the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Hey, if you haven't checked those out, please check in the description box down below for a link and come join us. All right, so for the past few days, I have been making projects that were all based upon several of the members of the group that were wanting tutorials. And so so today's tutorial came about because someone said, hey, I want to know a cute way to dress up a gift card. So you're giving a gift card for whatever reason, whether it be the holiday, a birthday, a special occasion, whatnot. And you want something a little bit different than just the plain old envelope that it may come in from the various stores. So today what I'm going to do is transform a book page, a piece of fabric, some stamping and create a little envelope to hold our card. So I've got a, I call it an oversized Bible or family size Bible. You don't need a great big piece, but approximately four inches by 11 inches wide. You could also use scrapbook paper. I'm using a book page because, you know, well, I have an abundance of them. What I'm doing now is I'm just going to fold this in half and then I'm going to glue this together so that it is basically one piece. I'm using a Lean's Tacky Glue. I'm just going to put glue on one side. And then I will lay this on my desk. And then I will use something like a bone folder or a gift card, old credit card, the edge of my block for my stamps. And then just smooth this out, just smoothing that glue out. So now I want to take this piece and I don't want this void over here. So I'm going to trim that off using my paper trimmer here and then I kind of look at my card to see how wide it is um you know you may want to go one way over another I think I want to go I'm looking at this let's see how wide is this oh yeah that's more than plenty I'm trying to decide if I want to do this differently I'm going to cut this four inches wide which should give me a little bit of a border on either side I am going to use my sewing machine later so I'm making sure that I have plenty of room on the sides I think that's good okay so now what I want to do is fold this up and I want it to be about an inch so if you look at you know a grid you mark it I want it to be about an inch so I'm going to fold it up Increase it. And I'll use my bone folder to crease that out. And then to come down from the top, you know, I didn't measure it before, but these cards are approximately two inches, two and a quarter almost tall by three and a quarter wide. So I'm going to put it in here and I want to fold this down. Now I want to make sure when I fold it down that I want it enough that it overlaps. You may not want to. You may want to go exact, but I want it to kind of overlap just a little bit. And then I'm going to crease it. I'll take the card out of the way. All right, so I've got this piece so far. And what I want to do next is apply some dress, distress inks. I mean, I'm going to check something. Yes, I've got this little piece of fabric that I want to put on here. So I was just making sure I didn't need to trim this. I'm just going to use some distress ink walnut stain and go all the way around all of the edges giving it a little bit of texture of color make it look vintage in a sense hey do check out the description box below for links to the others who are also participating in this video blog hop if you will on the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas so i've got a strip of fabric here that was left over from a quilting project i'm a member of a quilt guild and several of the ladies will get together every so often and then they'll put all their scraps out in like little baggies and you can pick them up for like 25 cents or sometimes they just give them away it kind of depends on what's going on and i picked up a bunch of these little scraps and i think they're just fun to use in junk journals and junk journal projects so all i'm doing is putting a little bit of a lean's tacky glue down on what's going to be the front flap of my little pocket just enough to help hold it in place because I am going to go to the sewing machine here in a moment on this little strip down here it's four inches wide so I cut a piece of book page that had been painted with acrylic paint to be just inside four inches and it's right 
oh, probably not quite uh, at three quarters of an inch. Almost, it's almost an inch wide. I've already gone around the edges with some Distress Ink, and I'm going to glue that down right here in the middle. I've got a little scrap of paper here, and I have the Tulip Twine stamp. And what I'm going to do is stamp on this bottom flap. So I'm coming in about halfway, and I'll stamp. And then I'll rotate this around and stamp it again. I just like the way that kind of adds a little pattern there. And you kind of see it, but not all the way. I may go ahead and trim this just a little bit. I'm thinking about it. And I think for the back, I'm going to stamp the little twin vine, tulip twine, just one time on the back. All right, so I am going to trim this really fast. And then we're going to go over to the sewing machine, and I'm going to sew around this little rectangle. And I just remember one more thing that I want to do before I go to the sewing machine. So I just trim that down just a little. And let's go over the edge. I've got a little scrap of paper that was when I tore off the edge or cut off the edge. And I've got uh, Thinking of You rubber stamp. I'm just going to stamp this. I'm trying to decide where I want it. I think I want it more over here. I'm just trying to use all the scraps. So I've got Thinking of You. It's got some little speckles from Tattered Angels. I'll just go around the edge real fast. All right, I want to glue this right in the center that says thinking of you. I'm just putting enough glue to hold it in place. All right, now I've told you a dozen times, what are we gonna do? We're going to the sewing machine. Okay, so I'm over at my sewing machine. I have a brother sewing machine. It's about five years old now. It's electronic. I have it set up to do a zigzag stitch and that stitch length is two and two on the stitch. And then I have regular thread, regular needle, and we're just gonna sew because it's fabric on paper. So think of it as just sewing on fabric, but you got paper. So you wanna make sure that you don't use wet glues. You want them to be dry before you start sewing. And I'm pretty confident this is dry enough that I'm not gonna have a problem. I'm gonna start here on this edge and sew around it. When I get to the end, I'll leave my needle down and raise my presser foot and rotate and then go sewing the other direction. So I've sewn all the way around the perimeter here. Now I'm going to sew around the thinking of you. I've got that portion sewed. So now what I want to do is sew across the top here and the bottom of my little strip. All right, so I've sewn this bottom portion. Now I'm going to flip it over and flip that up and sew down the sides. We've got it sewn. Well, now I've sewn down the sides. I've got a nice little pocket. So now it's all to do is to close this up. So I'm gonna do it really simply. We put my gift card in there, fold it over. I've got some ribbon here and I always try to remember how do I do this? So if you want the bow to be on the top and you want to have that crisscross package look, start with the threads going down or fibers or yarn or ribbon in this case. And then you want to come across the back and make a little X. So we've got this little X going on the back. Okay, so you can write or put a little label on there if you want. Then come to the front and tie yourself a little bow. So I've just tied a little bow on there and then you can pass this along. You could put it in another envelope if you so choose, or you could hang it off of a, I don't know, a package or something like that. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed seeing my take of making a gift card holder. Again, this was day 11 of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. We have one more day and that's going to be putting all of these items into one item uh, like a portfolio or little journal so you can give it as a big gift if you so choose. Again, check the description box down below for links to the others that are creating the journals as well as the products that I used in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. And let's see, my social media connectors. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, I'd love to have those from you as well. And then know I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time when I make a journal. From start to finish, I show you guys and gals how to put one together. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.